Glucose, a simple sugar, is the body's main source of energy. It is derived from the food we eat. Insulin, a hormone produced in the pancreas, helps glucose from the food to get into your cells to be used for energy. Diabetes is a condition when the body does not produce enough insulin or cannot use the produced insulin effectively. It leads to high levels of glucose in the blood, also known as high blood sugar. There are three types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, pregnancy induced diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is a total absolute absence of insulin in the body. So they have an autoimmune response in the body due to which all the beta cells which produce insulin are lost. Because of which there is absolute absence of insulin due to which the sugar levels shoot up. And these patients are generally young and they require insulin for their lifetime. So type 2 diabetes generally has a family history and a sedentary lifestyle can trigger diabetes in them. So there is some loss of insulin producing cells, there is some insulin resistance, so which leads to hyperglycemia. In these patients, you can treat with tablets also, with insulin also, depending on the need. So it generally comes in third decade, fourth decade or fifth decade of life. Coming to pregnancy induced diabetes, this is called a gestational diabetes. So diabetes is not there before. Once the patient becomes pregnant, she gets diabetes in during the pregnancy. Generally the diabetes comes down once the pregnancy is over. But these are the patients who are candidates to develop type 2 diabetes in future part of their lives. In type 1 diabetes, the cause is autoimmune mechanism. There is autoimmune system which is activated, which destroys the beta cells in the body in the eyelids of langer hands and there is absolute absence of insul insulin in type 1 diabetes. In type 2 diabetes, the causes are like underactivity, lot of stress in an individual who has a most commonly a family history. Some more causes for increased sugars might be steroid induced or thiazides. There are some drugs called as thiazides which if taken for a longer time can cause trace sugars. So these are called as 3 P's in diabetes, polyuria, polydipsia and polyphagia. Polyuria means increased urination, polydipsia means increased thirst and polyphagia means increased uh, food intake. So along with this, the patient might have fatigue, inability to concentrate and all that. These are also some other symptoms. Reduce the stress levels and to follow a proper lifestyle and uh, do regular exercise. As there is absolute absence of insulin, you have to replace insulin. There is no other option in this. There are still beta cells in that. There is insulin production. So you start with OHAs, which are called oral hypoglycemic agents or oral anti-diabetic drugs. If the sugars are not controlled, then you go with a combination of tablets and insulin. If the sugars increase even more, then these patients also will be required insulin. What type of diet you should take is so less carbs. Carbs should be very less. If you if if you want to take carbs, take it in a complex form. And high protein, low fat diet. And the fiber should be as much as possible because high fiber can help in reducing the sugar levels. When it comes to exercise Try to do some form of exercise for at least half an hour to 40 minutes every day. And the third part comes to the medication. So medications actually help in reducing the sugars if you follow both of the above things like exercise and diet. With over 1 lakh medical experts and the facility to teleconsult, experience clinic-like consultations on practice.